Hello everyone, this is Dr. Jawa. In this short video, I want to talk about a situation. It's fatigue. Now, a lot of people are fatigued due to different, for different reasons. Is it environmental? Is it medication? Is it medical? Are you stressed out? Is it your diet? Uh, as an athlete, are you exercising too much? Not an athlete, are you exercising too little? Are you getting too much sleep and still tired? Or are you, still sli are, are you not getting enough sleep and you're still tired? So this is what I want to talk about. Before I do so, welcome to my channel. If you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button down below and right next to it is the bell notification. If you're watching on Facebook, thank you very much. I always appreciate growing, a growing audience. If you find this information valuable, please share it with a friend and also do hit the like button down below. So let's get into the main thing I want to know about fatigue is are you sleeping or are you not sleeping? And also, when did it start and what caused it? Did it start 30 days ago, 60 days ago, a year ago, two years ago? Did you have a motor vehicle accident which changed everything that you're not sleeping or you're sleeping too much and you're still not the same? So let's talk about, yes, I'm sleeping, but you're still tired. So one of the things I want to look at, I want to look at your thyroid. Okay, the thyroid gland plays a big impact in how the body utilizes energy. It, it produces inactive thyroid hormone, which gets converted to active thyroid hormone throughout the body. So what happens, again, if you have too much estrogen, it's like a teeter-totter. Too much estrogen slows down the thyroid. So are you on your menstrual cycle? Are you on like that first half of the menstrual cycle just after your, I'm sorry, the first half of the menstrual cycle before ovulation? Do you have a fibroid? Remember, circulating estrogen makes cells replicate. Usually, if you have fibroids, it's due to too much estrogen. Soy, are you taking in too much soy products? That creates too much estrogen, which slows down the thyroid. And also, what happens, it boggles up the liver, so it has inactive conversion from inactive to active thyroid hormone. Or are you pregnant? Also to the liver, the liver plays a big part in how the thyroid works. We produce 93% inactive T4 and 7% active T3 in the thyroid gland. It goes in the bloodstream and that inactive thyroid hormone turns out to be active 60% of it through the liver process. So inactive T4 turns into active T3 through the conversion through the liver. And again, if you have a boggle down liver, if you have too much estrogen in your system, is your gallbladder removed? What, or is there something wrong with your gallbladder? Because too much estrogen makes the gallbladder boggy, which the main function of the gallbladder is to break down fats, to absorb fat-soluble vitamins, vitamins A, D, E, and K. And it also helps lubricate the colon. So if you have too much junk food, if you have too many medications, if you're taking in too much estrogen, sure, that's going to slow down the gallbladder. So then there is going to be a reason why you're sleeping, but you're still tired. Next, virus. Were you sick recently? Viruses, we are bombarded by viruses every day, over a million bacterial and viral pathogens daily, which helps build up our immune system. However, do you know that when you were, if you're sick, a lot of these other viruses can come out of remission? So this is sometimes when you're just sick, you just really need your sleep. I'm sleeping, but you're still tired. <clears throat> Could be a virus. Or low adrenals. When you're sick, it taxes the adrenals because the main function of the body is to shut down uh, its peripheral mechanisms and just focus on getting you better. So you may have low adrenals due to the fact that you were sick. Head injury. The, I see a lot of this. People who, have, who had a concussion or football players or athletes or people who just not, slipped and fell and they knocked their head on the ground, that concussion boggles down how the brain works. So that could be the reason why you're sleeping, but you're still tired. So you always want to look at the head injuries. Are you a light sleeper? Are you a light sleeper because you just have adrenal stress? You're just so stressed out that you can't sleep at night because you have adrenal burnout. One of the functions of the adrenal glands is it wants to shut down the body to repair it. If you have adrenal burnout, that, mag that flip switch is not going to occur, so you may not be getting a good night's sleep because you have adrenal burnout. You can't relax. Let's flip it over, and let's go to, I'm not sleeping. 
This is a lot of people. A lot of people have a hard time sleeping at night. Of course, they're still going to be tired. So again, different reasons. One, stress. Stress will cause adrenal burnout. And when you have adrenal burnout, it sounds like an oxymoron, but you have the inability, inability to relax. So sleeping at night is very, very hard because the cortisol level does not shut down as it should. Otherwise, oh, your heart. When you stop smoking cigarettes, whether it be yesterday, six months ago, six years ago, what happens is that the body gets adapted to the nicotine that you're smoking in. Okay, Nicotine is not necessarily bad for you. It's all the pathogens and the carcinogens that's in the cigarette that will cause the lung damage. However, do you realize when you stop smoking, your body is actually missing the nicotine sometimes, so you're just not getting a restful night's sleep? Or you have a poor diet. The standard American diet is horrific. Processed foods, GMOs, all this stuff is going to cause an irregular, an irregular sleep pattern, so you may not be, that's one of the reasons why you're not sleeping at night. Blood pressure, do you have high blood pressure? Physical, is it a physical situation? Neck pain, chronic back pain, chronic knee pain, foot pain. If you're in pain, the cortisol is gonna skyrocket and you're not gonna get a good night's sleep. Hot flash, this has to deal with some, with again, the uh, estrogens and progesterones. Or it could be the body temperature, it could be it's just too hot, not, too hot in your bedroom. Sinus problems. Sinus problems, sleep apnea is indicative of a low vitamin A count. Vitamin A helps uh, with the mucosa layer in the nose, also do it helps relax the body and it will help you with the sleep apnea. Allergies. That could be a reason why you're not getting a good night's sleep. Nutritional. Junk food, standard American diet, alcohol, all these things. The reason why you don't get a good night's sleep is because all the junk food, all the alcohol robs your body of potassium, robs your body of calcium, robs your body of B vitamins. Potassium will help calm the body. Calcium helps calm the body in proper balance. Vitamin B. Alcohol depletes the body of vitamin B. B1, B2, B3, B5, B6, B9, B12. For a good night's sleep, I always recommend 200 milligrams of vitamin B6 in the P5P, so it's already broken down. Is it environmental? What's going on? Is it your bed? I've had patients, chronic back pain, chronic neck pain. I ask them how old their bed is, and they say well over seven years. We should change our mattress every six to seven years. If there's a divot in the mattress, you gotta change it. Noise, is it outside noise? Is it your spouse snoring? Is it the dog? Is it something going on where you're not getting a restful night's sleep because there's noise? And then it leads to pets. I have two dogs and the dogs love sleeping with us. Or is it the schedule? Are you a third shifter? is do you sleep at different times does he go to bed early she goes to bed later does she go to bed early and he goes to bed later so it could be a scheduling conflict or just basically it's because you're not getting enough sleep so when it comes to fatigue i always always want to pinpoint are you is it, how is your sleeping are you sleeping too much and still tired are you not sleeping enough okay so i hope this helps if, if you want to schedule me for a consultation please hit the link below you can schedule me for a 15-minute consultation, and hopefully I can help you out. Thanks for watching. Take care.